Every minute, 72 hours of footage are uploaded to YouTube. How much of that footage features you? Have you ever logged into a social networking site only to find a hilarious photo that you never knew existed, has you in it, tagged, wearing a doublet? I have. Here's the deal. Facebook processes around 300 million photos per day. That means that our photos are circulating around and doing things we never intended. Let's talk about that 72 hours of YouTube footage. We're actually documenting our lives, everything that happens around us, and we're uploading it all the time. So what happens if you don't want to be the next big star? Let's take a look just a few years in the future to determine exactly what it'll take to get off the grid. It's not as easy as you think. You have a digital footprint created by dozens of devices. One estimate says that there are already 1.85 million closed circuit TV cameras in the UK. They're in shops, metro stations, on street corners, they're everywhere. Citizens might appear on video dozens of times a day and cutting edge facial recognition algorithms make it possible for computers to identify you pretty much every time you look toward a camera. Well, that didn't work. So how about we just jump into the car and avoid the gaze that way? That's gonna be a tough problem too. Even if your car doesn't have a GPS tracking device that's beaming information up to the cloud, well, there are a lot of cameras everywhere. For example, in Russia, there are a lot of drivers who have dash cams in order to avoid any accident disputes, which happen all the time out there. In the United States, we have hundreds of traffic cameras at intersections and along highways that capture all sorts of information. So let's say we avoid driving, we avoid the subway, we avoid the shops, we avoid pretty much everything. We just hole up in a friend's house and have them bring us ramen and distilled water whenever they can. Bad news. Even your friends could be recording everything using something like Project Glass from Google. These are glasses with a video camera on them and when that little red light is blinking, that means that they are recording everything from their own point of view. Are you freaking out? Well, I can sympathize, but let's think about it this way. When people lived in villages and small towns, everyone knew everybody and what they were up to. So maybe the internet is the world's biggest small town. By 2011, there were about 140 views for every human being alive at that time. If someone were to come up to you and say that they could give you a cradle to grave record of your entire life, would you really be able to say no? Let's think about the positive side of this future. I mean, imagine all the magic you would capture, every spontaneous moment of joy, every laugh, every moment when you met a friend for the first time, kept forever so you can view it whenever you like. And imagine two parents taking their kids and showing them that moment when they first met. I mean, any way you look at it, that's pretty sweet. 